installing um, in particular Nyax credit card readers onto the Crane media platform. This process will work on uh, or with USAT card readers and others like it, um, but in particular we're going to be dealing with Nyax. So on the front of media machines that um, <clears throat> have a secondary knockout or cutout hole for card readers, um, it's going to be below your bill acceptor, which is normally right here. I've removed the bill acceptor for now just so that everything um, is easier to see. You can also remove your bill acceptor when you do this if you want more space. Uh, but the card reader cutout is going to be this secondary one underneath the uh, bill acceptor here. And there's usually a metal blocker plate in here that you'll need to remove from the inside. There's four nuts that hold it on, just like uh, with a bill acceptor. So we're going to review the spacer that we're going to insert on the card reader to push it out far enough for the swipe function to be used and then we'll come back and install it and go over that process. All right, so the uh, spacer we're going to be installing here, um, there'll be a part number for this and a link in the description of the video. And it comes with four longer screws here um, and we're going to be adding it to this card reader so that it will stick out far enough through the front of the vending machine. So we're gonna start by removing the uh, four screws back here you can hang on to these but they're not going to be reused when using this spacer so this uh, comes off you have two rubber gaskets so you need to be careful not to lose or smash when you're putting these back together you have one here on the back of the card reader and then there's another one right here on this bracket you can kind of pop it out and pull it out. You want to make sure that stays there and that it doesn't fall out and get lost while you're doing this process. Uh, this spacer has up arrows indicating the direction it's supposed to go. Um, you want to set it on the card reader with the text and the up indicators facing away from the card reader. So put the flat side on the card reader and then the up arrow should correspond with the top of the card reader. Um, so there's a couple of ways that this can be done. Um, depending on how old your machine is, some of the newer cranes, I think there's actually enough room to put this whole thing back together like this and then um, install uh, install this device all assembled. And on older medias and, um, um, and potentially, I don't know when it changed, I've been able to install these before without putting it together in pieces, uh, but we're gonna go through the process of installing it in pieces um, today because <clears throat> that's the hardest part to do so before um, before we install this um, you've got two other parts you've got your MDB your yellow cable and your antenna that you're going to need to get out and have ready um, this uh, device um, on the back has this clear door that you can remove by pushing on that latch and you're going to want to take that off for the moment um, for the installation from here. So we're going to go back out to the machine now and put this together. So um, once your bill acceptor is removed, you're going to want to uh, find your harness that's coming from the vending machine's control board, which usually comes down this side of the pill and is right here. This is the bill acceptor harness we've unplugged from the bill acceptor. Normally your coin mac can be plugged into this, your coin mic may also be plugged into this extra MDB harness back here in the cabinet, which if it is, that's fine too. Um, but anyway, get your bill acceptor harness unplugged and you can leave your bill acceptor in here if you want to, but uh, get your bill acceptor harness unplugged from this main harness coming from the control board. And yeah, set that aside for the moment. Um, then you're gonna wanna get your yellow cable and we're just gonna plug that um, there's two uh, MDB connections on the yellow cable, only two. We're going to plug that into the uh, um, connection coming from the control board. And then we're just going to take the, the connection going to the credit card reader. And you're going to stick it down here in our hole for now so that it's ready. Then you're going to take your antenna. And you can mount the antenna um, in several places. First of all, with, when mounting an antenna, you want to make sure that it's in a vertical position, either right side down, up, upside down, right side up. 
You don't want to mount it in a horizontal position like that. All right, so you can stick it in here on the ceiling. Sometimes, in, like in the case of this machine, there's actually a hole already cut out here in the foam and um, going up to the uh, top of the machine. And so you could actually feed your antenna cable down through that if there is a pre-cut hole. You can drill a hole if you would like. It just depends on if you have strong enough service um, with the antenna inside the machine. If you, could, if you stick it up in here and you don't have strong enough service, you're going to have to drill a hole so that it can be out on top of the machine. Um, but you can try it in the machine first. Lots of times that'll work just fine. <clears throat> so I'm just going to stick it up in here for now, out of our way. Then you're going to take your antenna wire and run it down through the hole. Then we're going to take, because um, the wires have to go through both of these before they actually connect to the card reader. So in the order that they're going to be installed, which is your spacer first, then your bracket, you want to stick the uh, parts through those. And then both down through there. You want to set the spacer inside the hole on the bracket. You can stick onto the uh, studs. Like that. And you can even, I gotta find my nuts here. You could even just put a nut on the bracket. I'm gonna put two nuts on. Another one caddy corner from the first one so that, that bracket stays in place. Um, the next thing we need to do is take the uh, card reader. Um, and we've got it all open and apart, and you're going to run your antenna wire in and just push. Until that clicks. There we go. Sometimes you have to push harder than you think you do. Make sure your spacer stays in there. All right, then plug in your yellow cable. And give it a little bit of slack in there, like that. Make sure your uh, rubber gasket stays on. So if you notice, there's a little bit, of, a little bit of slack so that it's not pulling tight on the back of that connection. Then you're gonna put the, uh, feed the reader into the hole there. Um, you can swing this coin mech panel open and get a lot more room here for your screwdriver. Then you're going to take your long screws and start them out counterclockwise so that you catch your threads and don't strip anything. Some of them are, can be a little bit tricky. Get them all in first before you uh, tighten them down. So once they've all cut, then just start caddy corner from each other and tighten them down. Don't over tighten them, you just want them 
you just want to firmly secure there's a gasket in there and we don't want to totally obliterate it and squeeze it to death to come on the other side of this coin chute for this screw. All right. <clears throat> now, put on your uh, last two nuts. So now at this point, you've got your DEX cable, which you can come up and plug in right there. It's a tight, um, it's a tight distance. So if it's too tight, or if you don't want to have it that tight, then you'll need to get a DEX extension cable. Now this does not need to be plugged in unless you're actually DEXing. Um, so it's not, it's not critical. You can just fold it up and zip tie it, but you'll need to, uh, uh, put your bill acceptor back in now if you um, are using one you've got your four studs here just like for your card reader uh, that have nuts on them to hold your bill acceptor in but you want to put your bill acceptor back on <coughs> and plug your bill acceptor in when you do you're going to plug your bill acceptor harness back into the yellow cable right there and then this harness will go to your bill acceptor or whatever kind of bill acceptor you have it might be it looks slightly different and then you've got your coin mech, which um, it's a little tricky plugging these in. You, you have to plug this stuff in the right order because um, technically you're supposed to plug in your card reader first to the machine harness, then your bill acceptor, then your coin mech so that all of the data flows through the card reader harness and the card reader captures it and reports it. Um, if you plug it into this back here, I, it's not going to go through this. It's not going to go through the card reader. Um, and so if I were you, I would plug your coin mech into your bill acceptor harness, even if it had been plugged in back here. If you care about cash reporting on, on the back end with the NIAC system. So this is how it would be plugged in. You've got your machine harness, yellow cable, bill acceptor plugged into the yellow cable, coin mech plugged into your bill acceptor harness, and then this would plug back into your bill acceptor. And then you're going to have to clean up all these wires neatly to where um, use zip ties or whatever you need to use to um, get them out of the way so that they don't get caught or smashed when stuff's moving around. Uh, same thing, this, this cable here, your antenna cable, you have a few options for routing it. Um, if I were you as, you, as you are installing this, I would consider bringing it along this line of harnesses here. You can, th these, these you can pull back a little bit and slide the antenna cable in here and bring it down, bring it down here with the MDB cable and probably under the coin chute, and then into the card reader instead of, instead of this way. It's just a fast way to do it. But I would run it this way if I were you, um, and that way it's totally out of the way. Uh, you could do the, you can do the same thing with the yellow cable if you want, bring it back up here, and, and zip tie over here, or wherever you end up having room. Uh, and then that's installed and ready to go.